Aswan in southern Egypt. The border between irrigated fields and desert is razor sharp, a boundary that marks the limits of the Nile's life-giving waters. Viewed by satellite, the contrast is even more stark. 4% arable land, 96% sand. To produce more food here, the desert must be reclaimed. But after the year 2000, the main obstacle to development will not be the desert, but a lack of water to make it productive. planet glistening with water. Seas and oceans make up 97% of its volume. While fresh water in all its forms accounts for less than 1% of the total. Yet it is fresh water that shapes the landscape, irrigates rice fields in Asia, thunders down waterfalls in Morocco, meanders through lowlands in Nepal, and bears the silt of the Nile, Egypt's lifeblood. Here in Fayoum, an ingenious irrigation system perfected by local farmers centuries ago. A symbol of an ancient determination to solve one of humankind's oldest dilemmas. How to gradually reshape the environment without causing its degradation. A feat that's proving increasingly difficult. As water becomes an ever more scarce resource, its mismanagement seriously threatens the sustainable development of our planet. For these desert inhabitants, nomads and their animals, a lack of water is a fact of life. In arid zones worldwide, 230 million people live in 26 so-called water-poor countries, 11 of which are in Africa and 9 in the Near East. Where water does exist, its quality is often poor, a breeding place for waterborne diseases. The outlook for water is not encouraging. Experts estimate that by the year 2000, global water demand will have multiplied fivefold from its 1940 level, most of it used for agriculture. This is why FAO chose Water for Life as its theme for this year's World Food Day. 20% of the world's fish harvest comes from freshwater aquaculture. Domestic animals consume 60 billion liters of water each day. And 40% of the world's food comes from just 16% of the arable land now under irrigation. But irrigation often bears hidden costs. Some 60% of water used for irrigation, whether diverted or pumped, is wasted, resulting in waterlogging and salt buildup in the soil. Elsewhere, clean water is used for industry or agriculture, where wastewater would do just as well. As the world's population continues to grow, Problems linked to water shortage and quality are likely to worsen, including more pollution, further degradation of soil, and increase industrial demand for water. To change this forecast, we must improve the way water is used in agriculture, employing all the available technology. As part of its International Action Program on Water and Sustainable Agricultural Development, FAO has helped Egypt design 17 projects for the sustainable use of water. One such project for crop intensification under protected conditions has dramatically increased the output of certain vegetables, using 15 times less water for irrigation. In Africa, more than elsewhere, much is expected of irrigation. Take the island nation of Cape Verde. 
brown, windswept dots off the Atlantic coast of West Africa. Rains here are irregular and harvest uncertain. Rising to nature's challenge, the farmers of Cape Verde focus their energies on harnessing water. At 39 meters, enough underground water was found to transform these desolate fields into fertile oases. Farmers who were ready to abandon the area have now been able to renew their ties with the land. In small-scale irrigation, which is generally thought to be best for developing countries, drilling is not always necessary. To check wastage, sound irrigation management by local farmers is often the best remedy. New technologies, though highly effective, are often costly and poorly suited to small holdings in developing countries. Throughout the world, much human ingenuity will be needed to ensure existing resources meet the needs of a growing population. In Madagascar, for example, the success of aquaculture has encouraged farmers to combine fish production with traditional rice cultivation. With global yields up by 46% over the last five years, aquaculture is now an important source of protein for rural populations. From Africa to Asia, Vietnam, which is practically one huge rice field, is now the world's third exporter of rice. The cultivation of this other plant, the sarapus, is also encouraged because of its food value. Local fish farmers are advised about which species to rear. Animal and household waste are recycled into the system and used as feed or fertilizer. Such techniques help diversify agriculture and multiply the uses of water and are the ones which FAO is seeking to promote to ensure sustainable farming and food production. Although water is already scarce in some countries, we can, by using it more sensibly and economically, assure adequate supplies well into the future. But to achieve this, we must begin to make a change in the way we use, see, and think about water. <laughs>